We are growing more than a thousand percent, um, or we have since we, we went live. Um, we are, and I know that's a staggering number to throw out there, um, but the company is is just growing like crazy. Our core um, mission when we started the business was to basically dismantle the notion in the consumer market that you have to pay more to go green. Um, we don't believe you have to pay more to go green. There are certainly categories where there is a, a price increase because of the production process. But what we've found is that there is artificial price inflation that's just happening. Uh, we design some of our own products. Um, I'd say about 40% of our products today are exclusive to our company or under the Bambigo brand. Um, by the end of this year, our goal is to have 90% under the Bambigo brand or exclusive. I have a briefcase. Um, it's really cool. It's made from recycled truck tire. Every bag has 60,000 miles on it before it's made into a bag. Um, the strap is a seat belt, a recycled seat belt. Um, it's a great briefcase to carry. There's no reason why we can't produce that here in Maryland um, versus going to Colorado to buy that product. Um, so we're looking at ways to reduce um, the supply chain and the carbon footprint of our products. And Maryland is a huge biomass state. There's a lot of industry here. So there's a lot of byproduct um, from industry production. And for us to be able to tap into that, not send it to the landfill, but make products out of it would be a great thing for us and consumers. I can tell you that in 2012, there um, is no brick and mortar with a Bambico sign attached to it. Um, it's quite possible that you could find us in a store um, or stores that, um, brand name stores, where you could see a Bambico section within those stores, um, sort of being their green product provider. I think uh, we're in a unique place. We launched in a down economy, um, and a lot of people came to me. Um, 2008, 2009 was just a really horrible time uh, in, the comp in the country and economically but some of the best companies have started in downtimes.